The Dyson Spheres construction is nearing completion. And so, by the way, is the automation of plane smelters. Better late than never, right? Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Dyson Sphere program in our Alpha Andromeda series. So, one of these... Hang on. Has the things that I need. But which one is it? I set this up last episode. Aha! It's this one. So, in order to automate the construction of plane smelters, we need frame materials, and we need plane filters, and then we need unipolar magnets. So, let's go ahead and head to a spot where we have multiples of each. It might involve actually transmitting some of these downward, which is an idea I don't love. Let's see where these are going. I'm going to follow the resource trail here. All right, so those are probably just being set up. Okay, so these are remote supply, interestingly enough. I'm guessing they're then shipped. Needing to remember how exactly I set these up. It's possible that I might just need to have some of the plain filters... Yeah. We currently don't have any kind of storage set up for these, and that needs to change. So let me come up here and take a look at what I've got. All right. I probably just need to set up this planetary logistics station. Let's see if we can place it. Uh, yeah, looks like that's going to work. It's already powered. And now we can go ahead and put these in place. And we'll give the order for this thing to transport plane filters. Either that... Hang on. see what we've got here. Yeah, so this is where we're bringing in the frame materials. Either that, or we just need to use this as the starting point for the production line, which is definitely a possibility. So, if we just have these... Yeah, hold on. This might not be necessary. Let's dismantle that. We'll rebuild it in a second if we need to. Let's just go ahead and extend this a little bit. I'm also, yeah, we'll extend it to about, oh, out of building range, there we go, to about here. And then across that way. All right, so that's one of the three goods that we need. So we're going to need to, to transport a good number of things up this direction. I might even change where I have the arc smelters importing, because it doesn't seem necessarily practical. But let's see what we can get away with here. Um, actually, yeah, the ILS is... it might be the perfect solution for this. Let's place it right there. You can go ahead and put those back in. And now we can say that we want you to bring in a couple of things. I want you to bring those. We'll say demand, and they're going to get them right now. I want you to bring... Where are you? Unipolar magnets, and we want you to bring this. Demand, demand. Glorious. And then let's go ahead and set the maximum charging power up a little bit higher because God knows this planet can afford it. So go get the stuff. And now that's every single good that we need in order to mass produce these new buildings. So. There's that. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Need a little bit more room than that, don't we? Or maybe we don't. But hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I did that. All right, that works. So now we'll have this come out this way. And you'll feed down there. And then this come out this way. And you'll feed down there. And we'll have an output line where these are being automated. Now, we don't need to have a ton of these, as a matter of fact. So a lot of what I just did, you know, I'll go ahead and set up like four. You know what? No, let's just set up two. Let's reduce it. I'm still thinking like grand scale, you know? But that's actually not needed in this case at all. Like, not even remotely. Alright, so... We'll pull these in here. And pull these in here. And we can still expand this as needed. And there we go. We are mass-producing... plane smelters. There you go just like that. There is one thing we didn't do last episode when I said that I was going to do a more of a long distance maintenance run. We forgot to visit the other long distance system, the one that's probably going to be a bit more of a troublemaker too. All right, let's go ahead and set this up. So that's going to be a little bit slow, but it is slowly producing them, <laughs> which is implicit, I suppose. Oh wait, no, let's not do that. Close that. Put those there, and let's head this way. How are we doing, by the way, on the overall sphere? Wow, look at that. So we're about 900,000 away. The number of cells being absorbed is really starting to drop because you're starting to see these just fill in. And the top panels are the ones that are probably going to take the longest. Still a decent amount to fill in here, but when you think about how much has been filled in the last couple of episodes... It's it's just tough to kind of predict based on how we now know the the sail absorption works. It's tough to predict exactly how quickly it's going to fill. Uh, it could be that I'm just thinking about it wrong, but it is tough to predict. So let's while we are letting those new plane smelters build up, let's take a look around. So there's NTR. If you look over here, DSR. <laughs> Such a neat little trick. Let's go visit our black hole, shall we? It has been an age since we visited the black hole of the Alpha Andromeda Cluster. We're three quarters of the way done with our current research project, by the way. So that's coming along nicely. Isn't it funny how one of the habits that I've kind of picked up, I don't know that I've ever really done it in Dyson Sphere Program before, but I tend to organize my inventory during <laughs> during warp trips. It's probably one of the more, like, satisfying silent moments, if I'm not necessarily saying much. I mean, for me, it's definitely satisfying, but it might be for you, too. It's just like, oh, yeah, it's time to, time to sort through inventory real quick while we're on the way here. But now we are almost there. 
And there might be still some things that I can move around, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, closing in. There's our planet. Yeah, and this is going to be the one that is likely to have some more issues, because remember, this does not have, have near... Oh, hello! Hi! That was terrifying. Holy crap. All right. Yeah, see, this unipolar magnet vein is gone. Gone. Totally gone. That was terrifying. Holy crap. That planet came up quick. That's what I get for warping right up to it, though. All right. So, are we just mind out of oh no we're not we're nowhere close we still have a ton of unipolar magnets here we just don't have any in storage that's odd hang on we can fix that let's go ahead and yeah there we go that worked so where are my other unipolar magnets oh wow yeah okay so there's some definite veins that i just hadn't tapped yet have more Im I want to go back in time. Well, not go back in time, but <laughs> I want to go back in the playlist. And I want to take a close look at how much of this resource was available to us before. Because I just can't beat the sneaking suspicion that somehow this unipolar magnet resource has just like multiplied. Which, it's probably just in my head. But it's... It sure as hell seems like it's multiplied a bit. You know? Like, that absolutely seems to have happened. Because I don't... I thought we had mostly mined this planet already. It could be that what I'm remembering... Yeah, now that I think about it, it could be that what I'm remembering is... I'm thinking to myself I think I might have just like talked about the fact that it was fairly limited and more limited here than it is on NTR but we never actually reached that capacity but I really felt like we had already exhausted some of this and it's possible that I'm also thinking of an older playthrough it's quite possible all right so we're mining a bunch of it now and I'm going to give the order for local demand so you can go get it. I don't think I need to set that up that high. Let's take a look at power on this planet, though. Yeah. So this is current power on this planet. Much better. All right, so now we're actually contributing Unipolar Magnet again from this particular world. And we still have Iron Ore that is being contributed here, but clearly we have so many sources for that that it's not really a major concern. So that's nice. Yeah, see, this was a Unipolar Magnet mine. Like, I just, I feel like we had already investigated so many of them, you know? That's blowing my mind. really just looking around for more unipolar magnet veins. All 
Alright, well... This is much healthier than I thought it would be. I really was anticipating more of a problem child resource outpost here, but no, everything's fine. Everything's completely fine. Look at this. Look at... Oh my god, look at Gakrix. Look at all of the freaking resource bots. All of the transport vessels flying back and forth. Taking stuff to Gakrix. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're sitting at 20,880 being absorbed right now. It's closing in on 200 gigawatts from this one sphere. Which is nuts to me. Oh, research has stopped. Mm, all right, hang on, detour time. What's up, Alpha Andromeda? You're 2.36 light years away. And we need to see what's going on with you. Also, there is something that I wanted to double check on. Somebody pointed out to me in the comments, I actually don't have my like phone, I don't have the comment right in front of me, but I'm remembering this as I record here. One of the export towers here needs to be double checked. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do it from this screen here because apparently there's a problem. Alright, so that's set to 120, as it should be. <laughs> Why was that max charging power set so low? I think that's the one. I think I found it immediately. This is the one that's supposed to export the graphene. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and set that one up to 60 as well. I just want to make sure I don't run out of power on this planet. Yeah, it's completely fine. Alright. I think that's most of the problem. I'll investigate it, investigate it again later on, but for now, I want to find out why research just stopped. What's the problem here? All major resources are stocked. Did any matter stop? No. Quantum chip. Uh oh. No. No. Okay, it's plain filters. <laughs> Are we having a graphene problem again? What the hell? In what you. Okay. 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 In what universe do we have a graphene problem? Game. All right, these are backed up again. Why? All right, well, that explains a lot. If these are completely backed up. I think what I had done previously... Yeah, I, I, yeah, this was a very temporary solution, and it's clear that that temporary solution is not going to be... All right, so... That was very much part of what was solving our graphene problem previously. I'm going to go ahead and just let as much oil pour out of this thing as possible. There we go. So that's really annoying. But at least with that, see, I was wondering what was going on with the power situation here. So what should start to happen now is we should start seeing an increase in consumption demand because the refinery should come back online. But still, graphene... All right. Now, we do actually have a graphene shortage now. Remember before we had lots of graphene here. So now it seems like some is arriving. I might need to find a way to export some. And how are we doing on hydrogen? Let me guess. Yeah, some of these are still waiting to come back online. Now, hydrogen shouldn't be an issue, like, ever on this planet. Ever, ever, ever. Because it should be exporting prolifically. Looks like we're full on deuterium here. 
which is kind of annoying. All right, that's already completely full. Why do you have so much hydrogen here? <laughs> you should be shipping this stuff off. You should be shipping this stuff off. What is going on here? We have a hydrogen collection world set aside for exactly this purpose. Why is there so much hydrogen that is not being sent? Hang on, let me see where this hydrogen is going. God, this stuff is the bane of my existence. Alright, so it looks like we are still building up some... Yeah, we have backed up deuterium. What in the heck? Okay, so I need to figure out what the graphene problem is. It looks like this thing is mostly emptying out. This coal deposit is almost gone. But for whatever reason, we just aren't producing enough graphene anymore. For whatever dumb reason... So we have a bunch of these set aside to create graphene. And the graphene goes... Where exactly? Yeah, so we have a, like... A massive, massive amount of fire ice being imported here that is not... Currently, nothing is happening with it. So that needs to change. It needs to change, and it's gonna change. Because... This is getting dumb. So we are going to... Extend this line here. And then we'll bring you down here. And then bring you down here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete that solar panel because it's a waste. I'm also going to move this line here just to create a bit more room. There we go. The ironic thing is that this creates this particular situation creates more hydrogen. You know? I have even more hydrogen to deal with than I would otherwise. And I don't like that very much. Because, I mean, I built that hydrogen world. So that this problem would not be something that persisted. And yet... Here we are. Oops, that's going the wrong way. Now, this is not going to be nearly enough graphene to solve our problem. But it's a start. It's a frickin' start. So, 
the graphene that's being produced here is going to join the rest of the graphene, which gets fed this direction, goes into that tower. Yeah, now this is used for supply. As is this. So we have all of these graphene producers over here. Yeah, this is another area where I had attempted to address the same issue. So we're just going to expand this. We're going to add even more of these. Which will create more hydrogen. But this is a better place to do what I was just doing a moment ago. So let's go ahead and... Expand this. Bring this line that way. And this line that way. We don't actually have any of those in inventory, really. Alright, hold on. I need steel, I need glass, and I need stone. Okay. Okay, game, I see you. And where's the stone brick? Perfect. Oh, I've got stone brick in my inventory, so it's literally pulling it out of my inventory as we speak. Love that. Alright, so there's 50 of those. Then I need titanium glass and I need quantum chips. Kill me now. Quantum chips, which I don't have here because I don't have plane filters because I don't have graphene. Love it. Love it. Graphene is a shockingly difficult resource to keep supplied. Shockingly, let me tell you. Alright, so we've grabbed some titanium glass there. Now all I need are the quantum chips. Let's see where these are being produced here. I don't need that many. How many do I need per? Three? Okay. Great. So I can tell that some of these are being produced, but not nearly fast enough. At least this is not interfering in any way with the Dyson Sphere's progress. It's really not. That's what's funny about it. Like, exactly nothing is happening with the Dyson Sphere as a result of this. Alright, so we have four more being made. What I really need is to just have... <sighs> Man. The fact that graphene is a problem at this point in the game is absurd to me. But it just goes to show, like, even the most basic resources that you haven't thought about for a while can become problems in the late game if you don't manage some of the finer details. And you have to go back and look at old sections of your supply chain that you haven't touched in forever and a day. All right, it does seem like things are picking up a little bit, which is nice. All right, and we are producing some of those. So things are improving. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a direct expansion. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait. Are these the old kind? What's this? Those aren't even the right kind. And now I need to build more of them. What? That's incredibly rude. Now I need to build more of them. Alright, I need to go get more of those particular chips. I mean, that's still more graphene for me. So it'll partly solve the problem. What's blowing my mind is the fact that we have this set up for hydrogen export, and there's still so much hydrogen here. Like, why are these ten ships not flying this immediately? 
it's got to be that it can only receive so much hydrogen at a time and it's already getting its fill from nearby planets. So what that tells me is that in order to really effectively build a hydrogen gas giant, if you will, to hold a lot of your old hydrogen, you actually need, this is stunning, but you actually need to have like waypoint worlds where like a world closer to this one can pull the hydrogen off of it and keep the hydrogen there. Like, or you just need multiple gas giant worlds. It's man, managing this resource is absurd. What it comes down to is I, I think I really just need to burn more of the stuff for energy. I think that's ultimately the way to get rid of it. You can use it in crafting. You can use it to make deuterium if you want. But at the end of the day, I think you, you just need to burn the stuff. Burn it with fire. Literal burning with fire. All right, I'm going to stop here for a second and just grab some more quantum chips off the line because we are producing them a little bit faster now, which is nice. Okay, and with that, I can build three more of those guys. Which is not a lot, but it does look like we are now back to producing... Yeah, I mean, I see graphene... That's hydrogen. Is this the graphene line? Yeah. That's the graphene line. So we're still waiting for more graphene to come in. There's some being transported. I can plug some in that way. But it just gets gobbled up so quickly. Yeah. Let's go add some more of these. So we might hang out here on Alpha Andromeda for maybe the next episode as well and really address this problem. Because it seems like... I mean, I could import graphene from another planet, but it also seems like a local production issue. Like, I could absolutely just work on graphene production here. And that would mostly solve the problem. Mostly. Maybe. Perhaps. Alright, how are we doing? Let's take a quick look as we wind down. Yep, we're at three... Yep, approaching 3.6 million. It really does... It's interesting. It really does seem like it is filling in faster now that some of the central portions are filled kind of like I was saying earlier but that doesn't necessarily track with what I now know about how it works because as certain panels finish fewer sales are, are pulled towards those panels that are finished so the rate at which it's pulling sales out of the out of the void out of space is actually reduced which means that the Dyson Sphere's completion rate slows down. But perhaps that's not as perceptible as I thought it would be. It's cool to see those lines hooking the way that they are. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's mainly just due to the rotational speed of the sphere, which can't be changed. But it's fascinating to watch. Okay, so we're producing a little bit more graphene now. Oh, hang on. I didn't notice that problem before. I actually have too much graphene on this line, so we're going to need to do a good old-fashioned piler trick. Let's go ahead and put one down here. It's hilarious that that's part of the problem. All right, so now this line should fill up a little bit more easily. Makes total sense, though. These lines are completely full. All right, so this one looks like it's still filling up a little bit, but it is... Okay, no, it's starting to empty out. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so that's a lot more graphene now that's going to get sent down the line. And that's a about it for this episode, I think. We're closing in on the 35-minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. 
in the next one. Now we're actually making better progress now, I think. I'm seeing more of the stuff getting shuttled around. And we haven't seen research stop in a while, so we've mostly solved that issue. I don't even know how connected to the problem the refineries were. Normally what I've what I've thought is like, okay, if hydrogen is backed up somewhere, then that can cause issues. Like, and hydrogen gets massively overproduced here. And also, when you first make graphene, you use these. So I think my mind instinctively goes for the energetic graphite. But it's actually not used anymore for my purposes. I'm going to go ahead and expand this by one just to get this line moving a little bit. It's crazy how full we are of this stuff. I can go absolutely ham filling these up a little bit more. Anyway, yeah. I'll stop this one here. In the next one, I will probably hang out here a little bit longer just to make sure that the graphene issue is completely resolved-ish. And then we will head back to Gakrix and uh, see what there is to work on for the home stretch of the series at this point. We are closing in on the end game and just looking around and making sure everything is in tip top shape. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. New episodes are coming out every day, but Tuesday. <laughs> At noon US Eastern time, I'm still getting used to adding that part. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.